A mom feels like an Arkansas state law is failing her family after she was severely injured in a car crash caused by a Shannon Hills police officer. It's been almost a year since the crash, and the mom can't afford the medical care she now needs. Meanwhile, both the city and officer never had to pay for those consequences since they're protected by immunity laws. Tonight in a Fox 16 investigates our Susan L. Corey explains just what's at stake. The family's medical bills are now well over a million dollars, but all they got from Shannon Hills was $25,000. It's barely a drop in the bucket, but that's the most they could get. The way it stands now, their only other option is to file for bankruptcy since there's a state law blocking the family from ever suing the officer or the city. Every day, Heather Cross braces for a reality. We've never asked for this. That will never look like the life she used to live. This is the life that we were, that we were forced into. We don't have the ability to come out of this. Her husband, Matt, quit his job. Starts with those. To be her full-time caregiver. I help her take her medications. I help her take showers. Ever since a car crash threw their life into reverse and started a domino effect of losses. I mean, this is what's left of our business. Her hair salon is in storage. The family forced to close their Shannon Hill shop to focus on Heather's recovery. We live off of social security disability. We go up and have to file for food stamps to make sure that my family is fed. In September 2019, Heather stopped here on County Line Road. She was waiting to turn into Davis Elementary to pick up her five-year-old son. At the same time, Shannon Hills Police Officer Jose Padilla was headed her way. This animation of the state police crash report shows how he drove in the wrong lane and crashed head-on into Heather. The impact was so hard, it blew everything inside of her car out her back glass. I threw my hands up and I said, how can this happen in a school zone? Heather suffered severe injuries that kept her in the ICU for weeks. Strokes left her with permanent brain damage to the point talking is now a challenge. She lost the ability to be the mom that she wanted to be. On the crash report, state police noted Officer Padilla is at fault for careless and prohibited driving, but he never got a ticket for that. And the investigation ended a few weeks after the crash when these pictures, along with the report, were sent to the Saline County prosecutor. Prosecutors never filed charges, something they won't talk to us about. So I headed over to the Shannon Hills Police Department to see if this was handled internally, but was told Officer Padilla has no disciplinary history, and the police chief also chose not to comment. Jose Padilla did not have to face justice. And is it because he's a cop? Is it because that cops are above the law? Inpatient. It's a question the crosses don't have a lot of time to think about. Instead, there's a growing stack of medical bills they don't know how to pay for. Patient's responsibility, $21,600. Her first two weeks in the hospital alone cost well over $200,000. Why do we have to pay the millions of dollars in medical bills? It's a cost the city of Shannon Hills and Officer Padilla will never have to pay. This settlement is all the family got, $25,000 paid by the city's limited liability car insurance. All of this is because state immunity laws mean the officer and city can't be taken to court. Have you ever come across this before? Unfortunately, I've seen it many times. As the family's lawyer, Michael Crockett, says it all goes back to the state constitution. The state of Arkansas shall never be a defendant in any of the courts. Basically, that law means officers are protected from being sued for what they do while they're working. That's something Crockett wants to change. You do away with that, you're going to find these cities will get the insurance covered they, they need to, to protect the people that are victimized. Getting rid of immunity laws isn't a new idea. Want to abolish sovereign immunity entirely. Attorney Joshua Silverstein typed up a proposal to amend the law and brought it to the Capitol, in part arguing the law is antiquated. Sovereign immunity originated in about 
six, 700 years ago in England, and it was the idea that the king as sovereign is immune in the king's own courts. England got rid of the law, and almost every state passed amendments to limit it. Arkansas remains one of three states with the most restrictive immunity laws. But Silverstein says his critics are concerned about lawsuits. I think it is much more important that we have people suing when they have valid claims and take the frivolous lawsuits, take the bad with the good. While his amendment got some traction, it ultimately failed in last year's legislative session. For the Cross family, that means they're taking a back seat in the Arkansas court system. It opens the door for the next, the next family to be dealing with exactly what we're dealing with. Heather now does rehab at home, forced to stop getting treatment that her doctors recommended, all because Medicare won't pay the bills. We cannot give her the medical care that's necessary for her to give to recover. An impossible situation this family was thrown into, all without ever hearing from the officer who caused the crash and is now protected by his badge. What do you want Padilla to know? Why they do it? I did reach out to Officer Padilla and his attorney, but haven't heard back. Heather just had another surgery to repair some of her injuries. The Crosses tell me they're getting ready to file for bankruptcy since they just can't afford these medical bills. Back to you.